At this point, let's just take a step back and get in further perspectives from our special guest joining us on the broadcast, Ambassador John Bolton, former United States Ambassador to the UN and former Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs. Thanks very much for joining us on the broadcast. If I can uh, ask you right at the outset, if you were to summarize how different the White House would be under the two candidates, according to you. Well, I think there'd be significant differences uh, to start with uh, with Harris, though. I think uh, the, the best you can predict it is that uh, her administration, at least for a year or so, would be very uh, much like the Biden administration. Uh, and the new advisors she'll bring in will be part of the Democratic establishment. So, uh, uh, you know, different events in the world or domestically will will cause presidents to go in different directions. But one of the things many people here say is that if Harris were elected, she would be Barack Obama's fourth term, uh, as in many ways, Joe Biden, Barack Obama's vice president, was Obama's third term. Uh, Trump is a lot, a lot harder to predict because he doesn't have a philosophy, uh, certainly in the national security space. He doesn't think in policy terms. Uh, his uh, decisions are episodic, transactional, ad hoc, uh, all seen through the prism of whether they benefit Donald Trump. There are some things he focuses on. He focuses on illegal immigration across the Mexican border. He's focused on uh, the economy and the uh, still very painful inflation that occurred during the Biden administration. Uh, but but these are issues that uh, uh, he's used throughout throughout his uh, career and it, it really it, it doesn't it doesn't tell you that much about the direction he'll go. Most Republicans hope and think that he will behave like uh, a traditional Republican in terms of lower taxes, less regulation, uh, appointing conservative judges. That that may come true, but but with Trump, you just never know. Hmm. Um, speaking of Trump specifically, do you see him actually being able to end the Ukraine war, for example, if he wins? How do you assess Harris's stance on the war? Well, I think uh, Harris will be essentially like Biden for the foreseeable future, for the reasons I just said a moment ago. Uh, but particularly in national security, before becoming vice president, she had no real experience. So, so what she has learned, she's learned during the Biden administration. And uh, while you can't say for sure, uh, the, the best guess you can make is it will look a lot like Biden. Uh, I'm very worried if Trump gets in, he has said on the uh, campaign trail that he could end the war in 24 hours. He'd just get Zelensky and Putin into a room together and uh, they would work it out. That, that isn't going to happen. Uh, and if it did, uh, of course, it wouldn't be Trump's fault because it's never his fault. So it must be the fault of Zelensky or of Putin. And given Trump's affinity for Putin, I would be very worried that he would conclude it was Zelensky's fault and that Ukraine would suffer accordingly. I think it's very possible within the first six to nine months that Trump could cut off all assistance to Ukraine, uh, and, and that would have a devastating effect, I think. But I think he thinks he can end this war, and you know, one way to end a war is just to sell one side out. Hmm, interesting you say that. Uh, speaking about the other war zone, uh, how can we not talk about uh, the impact of this election result on West Asia? Do you think uh, things would dramatically change over the next few months if either of the candidates actually go ahead with what they've been talking about? Well, I think the first thing to consider is that uh, from today until January the 20th, when the new president is sworn in, uh, we'll have what in America we call a lame, a lame duck president. And uh, I think that is uh, always a dangerous period because our adversaries uh, uh, see that as an opportunity to cause trouble. They know the lame duck president only has a few days or weeks left in office and uh, is, is uh, hesitant to take strong action that would affect his successor. Now, if, uh, uh, if Kamala Harris wins, uh, then, then I think the lame duck period is less of a threat, but but it's a signal that the uh, policies will basically remain the same. Uh, and I think the the one major difference there may be depending on uh, the circumstances that exist when Harris takes office, she would be less favorable to Israel than Biden has been. 
I think most people believe that Trump will be uh, even far more uh, favorable to Israel than Biden has been, but uh, and that may be the most likely outcome, but it's not certain because uh, because Trump uh, has also said with respect to the war in the Middle East that he wants that over with by the time he takes the oath of office. And uh, I think he just wants it off his table. He doesn't want to have to deal with it. Uh, I think it's very unlikely the conflict will be over by then, so so he'll have to. But his instinct is just to put it behind him. He views it as a Biden problem. He said the Iranians and uh, their terrorist allies never would have attacked if he had been president, which, of course, is an unprovable statement uh, in either direction. But I think he just wants to get it out of the way and over with. Hmm. And who, according to you, is the best choice for India? Well, it, you know, it's uh, it, it's hard to say. We we haven't had a lot of debate about national security in the course of uh, uh, of this campaign. Uh, I think that uh, Trump believes he has a good personal relationship with Prime Minister Modi, but uh, but we have not had we did not have in the Trump administration really the kind of extended uh, strategic discussions either bilaterally or through the Asian Security Quad that uh, that. I wish we had had. We had a lot of discussions about what was wrong with trade relations, uh, but but not really discussions at the strategic level. Uh, again, Harris has been part of the Biden administration. Biden has, uh, I think, uh, worked to help strengthen the Quad to make it a more uh, important decision-making forum. So my guess is that Harris would would follow that approach and uh, would would prize meetings with uh, quad members, again, one-on-one -on -one or in a group, uh, very highly. All right, uh, Ambassador Bolton, we're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us on the broadcast. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.